Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> ah, whoo! A lot of yelling and screaming today at my computer. Um, <clears throat> starting to get a little bit hoarse. Uh, this is going to be an exciting match, though. I'm probably going to be even more hoarse by the end of this because we got none other, none other than Mr. Jangby at the top right corner, um, the Protoss player. We got Sky High at the bottom left. This is a match point, and uh, <clears throat> I always forget to mention the maps. I always put the maps in the video description, though. So, by the way, a lot of people. Uh oh, got some cheese coming from Jangby here. Is what it looks like. That's going to be interesting. Maybe some proxy gates. It's a good map for proxies. Um, yeah, a lot of people were complaining that um, <clears throat> there has been problems lately. Whoa, look at that stats. PVT on this map is 10 and 17 in favor of the Terran. So that is significant. Um, that is that is a pretty big uh, advantage for Terran. on Against Zerg too, actually. 16-8. Uh, so this is a Terran map by far, apparently. Um, anyway... Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, yeah. People have been having problems with videos where like they don't load immediately. Don't leave comments about how the video doesn't load. It just you know reloaded a few times. It works sometimes like for the first five minutes after it's been processed, the video doesn't work. So just just uh, be a little patient. And he stops so nice. Plants down the refinery um, just to make sure that he doesn't get his gas stolen there. This is uh, uh, excuse me. Doing a little bit a little bit of uh, a battle going on here. Epic battle of wills between the SCV and the pro probe running around. SCV, ooh, probe sneaks in another hit on the SCV, but SCV's got backup. Backup, punk. Tag team. I tag my team member, and uh, he comes out with a chair and busts it over the back of your head. Um, <clears throat> and for some reason, he just pulled out the hurt SCV to continue pursuing the probe. That was kind of weird. Um, anyway, I just probably picked one at random. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So, so don't worry about the, um, the if it says like it has an error and it won't load. Just you know, be patient and uh, it'll load eventually. <clears throat> um, anyway, so not cheese after all. I thought he was gonna do some proxy gates because that probe was so early, but uh, he really just needed to get it all the way across the map in time to try and get that gas deal down. Is basically what it came down to. And now he's gonna go for a quick nexus. Wow, very quick nexus. Um, interesting choice there. Um, I mean, he sees what's going on in his base. He knows that he's got gas going very early. He knows that he's got the uh, the barracks up. The barracks is a little bit delayed, so that's actually going to delay the tech a little bit as well. But he still is going to have a factory out pretty quick. Yeah, factory going up immediately after the refiner after the uh, sorry the barracks was completed because the gas is up earlier. Um, <clears throat> he's going to get gas of his own. Um, anyway, I guess he's probably figuring out a one one racks. I'm sorry, one factory into command center, sort of an FD build, is what he's probably thinking is going to happen. And especially with that tech delay of a few seconds, and maybe he he feels that he can afford to get his uh, nexus up pretty quickly. Um, he didn't go 12 next. He got the gateway up first, so um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's not going to be like completely all in or anything like that. Otherwise, we probably see Sky High. Sky is the kind of player that would do a crazy, uh, you know attack where he sends out marines and SCVs and stuff like that so um, Jang B luckily didn't do anything too crazy on that front um, anyway so he's gonna get his probes down pretty quickly I, I think I think he had the gateway down before the Nexus the Nexus is up really quick though um, starport going down now for uh, for um, for Sky High interestingly I just saw Sky High do this build actually um, I think he's probably doing the same build I just saw him do it in the um, the prelims the MSL prelims against uh, actually on the same map against a player called Secret, kind of a low, uh, an unknown Protoss player. Um, he went for the Starport and he actually got a Wraith very quickly, um, which helped him against you know shuttles and stuff, and then um, <clears throat> got a dropship, although that, I think that might have been in the, later on in the game because there was Arbiters very quickly, so... I don't remember. Anyways, he, he did get a starport, and he the reason why it reminded me of it is actually because oh, what are you doing, Sky? Oh, there's the sh the vulture's gonna come in and kill all that probes. The probe's not gonna be able to get in, spot the starport. What he's gonna do is yeah, he's gonna go for a dropship probably first. I mean, he made the wraith before because it was a little bit later I think, and he was expecting a shuttle coming in, so he's gonna make the dropship, try and do a vulture drop. Hopefully, Jangby watched the MST prelims, and knows what's gonna happen because uh, 
uh, anyway, yeah, it looks like he's going to go for a Vulture Drop. He's going to upgrade Mines, possibly Speed, uh, and probably do a drop in that sort of top left area of Jangby's base, try and get some kills in that way. Um, by the way, score is now at 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's a nice spot for a Mine right there. Um, he's not gonna, I don't think he's going to see that Mine until... Yeah, it's really cool to put those Mines at the top of the ramps. Because uh, then, even if he's, the Dragoons are in a place where they can get an attack off, they're not going to see the mine until it runs down the ramp at them. Um, helps for getting uh, some kills. Um, <clears throat> anyway, also protects against DTs, obviously. He could be wor worried about... He knows that... I think he knows that Nexus went up pretty quickly. Um, but he still could be worried about a DT follow-up, um, theoretically. Anyway, there's the dropship. is running around now. Jangby... Um, it's gonna, he's got a couple pylons around his base. They're going to be able to spot it going in. It might be too late, though. It's going to come down to micro. If he gets those vultures in there and plants mines in the way, he's there's a citadel, actually. Yeah, so he's not going to... He's only got a robo going down now. So, uh-oh. Is he going to be able to see this? No. It's going to see it. Now he sees it. The pylon just now sees it. He's got dragoons in place, but they're a little bit too far away. If he can get mines in the way, he's going to be able to run around behind and kill a bunch of probes. Uh, no, the mines are not in the best position. He kills off a couple of mines, so JB is actually going to be able to hold off um, if he's careful about this, he's going to be able to hold off those vultures from killing his probes because he's able to kill off the mines close enough that there was no mine barrier between his dragoons and the vultures. So he's going to be able to kill off those vultures. Two vultures going down. He's got to be really careful, though, about those mines. Whoa, be careful about those mines. Uh, and only killing off a couple probes with all three of these vultures. So a failed vulture drop in general. Whoa! Whoa. Taking some damage from that mine there. Um, he's still got to be careful. He's, uh, ooh, the Dragoon popping out did not have a chance. Took a mine hit, but only kills off like two or three probes. Not really worth the cost of the dropship there. And, uh, he actually lost that game against Secret. Sorry if I'm spoiling it there, but it's just the prelims. Um, but, uh, he lost that game against Secret because he did try to do, kept trying to do vulture drops. And look at that, Jane be showing some chest there. Got his, uh, his jackets, uh, opened up a little bit there playing in the breeze um oh now he's gonna follow up with a tank and some vultures to spot so that's that's a really good idea too we see that a lot on this map um uh what was i saying maybe that was his undershirt actually sometimes he might have had an undershirt that looked like skin toned or whatever um anyways nicely done getting those vultures in the middle actually he's gonna take out a couple probes tank not in position to take too much enough advantage of those probes bunching up though unfortunately but he's going to take out a couple more probes nonetheless. Things are tied up right now, by the way. This is a 2-2 ball game. Um, and so whoever wins this game between Jangby and Sky High is going to be on. Um, it is going to be them versus the other player's ace player, basically. And, um, <clears throat> I mean, 2-2, it's a really important situation because once you get to that 3-2 point, you're just on the verge of winning. It puts a lot of pressure on the other team, um, on the other player. So... Anyway, I mean, obviously it's, you know, the 3-3 is even more uh, important, but I mean, like, 2-2 is really, I mean, it's the point where it could go either way, where the momentum could go either way, lead to a 4-2 very easily, and the other, the, the team that has the 3-2 is going to have that um, that uh, momentum, and also the the leeway to possibly lose a game, they still got one more guy left um, on their roster. Anyway, Sky High doing a really good job of doing some harassment here, using, like, just a couple tanks to kind of... Um, be annoying, and he's got that Wraith in play as well. Um, part of the advantage of having that starport, he's got the Wraith in a good spot. He can protect against any kind of harassment with shuttles or whatever. He doesn't know what's coming. He, uh, well, actually, he probably has Comset by now, actually, so he's probably going to be able to see Jengvi's base. Uh, yeah, there's Comset. So he knows, he knows what's coming. So the Wraith is just chilling over there just for fun. Uh, in case there's a shuttle, he could have tried to drop some stuff in there, drop some DTs in the mix or something like that. So it's important to have that there. But also that Wraith is going to be able to good, be a good um, early warning against Arbiters. Wraith is not going to be powerful enough by itself to um, take out the Arbiter before it can actually uh, do a recall or something if that's what's, what's going to happen. But Anyway, um, tanks are, are dropping down here again trying to do some harassment. He's stopping mining there. And the Vultures being ferried up to the top are going to be able to kill off another couple probes. But uh, Jangby is moving his Dragoons over here are going to be in a good position. Um, to kill off those tanks without too many losses, only loses a few Dragoons there and a couple probes, so um, pretty even exchange there in general. Um, yeah, I don't think that's his undershirt. That looks, yeah, he's definitely, um, 
just playing it open. Um, it must not be that cold in 